<coughs> we all know the art is getting warmer and warmer every day. It's called global warming. It's a real thing in the world and Sierra Leone is no excuse. United Nations is spending billions and billions of dollars every year in fighting global warming. But the art is still dying. Cars, aeroplanes, factories, all of this increases the temperature of the world by two to three degrees. And this is very harmful to humans and animals. We all see this and we give up until we found James S. Samba in Freetown, Sierra Leone. I am James Moore, the Samba, the founder and CEO of the Samba Mobiles, and I'm an innovator and a student from the Lincoln Queen University. And I've built the first ever electric shuttle minibus with spaces for persons living with disability in Sierra Leone. This car uses no fuel, no water or sun, as it is estimated that United Nations spend $100 billion every year to fight against climate change. James Samba from Sierra Leone is innovatively fighting climate change by building a low-budgeted electric shuttle minibus with zero carbon emission. So with the rising effect of the use of fossil fuel in our conventional vehicles in Sierra Leone and its effect to global warming, climate change and of course food insecurity here in Sierra Leone, coupled with the fact that persons living with disability do not have access to public transportation spaces, I was fully inspired with these key problems to build a vehicle that is both 100% electric, safe for the environment, and also um, inclusive with spaces for persons living with disability. James Samba has worked on several projects. So apart from this electric minibus, um, back in 2014, I built an FM radio station in my room. And fast forward to 2020, amidst the coronavirus pandemic, I was also um, able to build an, an automated hand washing station, which was a safe hand washing station that was automatically operated without touching any physical part of the station itself. And of course, in 2021, seeing the problem of spaces for persons living with disability not being um, actually there for them to access in the public transportation vehicles, I also built um, a solar-powered electric wheelchair that was a faster means of transportation for them um, um, independently. And now in 2022, I'm proud to say again, I've invented something that has spaces for persons living with disability that inclusively um, creates the space for them to feel belong to the transportation sector. Okay, so how you start? Okay, so uh, it's on. Uh, uh. <laughs> like, like seriously, is it on? Yeah, yeah. No sound. No sound. Sure. Guys, this is strange for me. Like I'm used to combustion engine. Like we start, you must hear a sound. Like if you show sure that it's on, let's go. Let me see. Okay. <laughs> let's go back. Okay, well, let's go back. Guys, it is on, really. <laughs> My god, this is the most silent vehicle I've ever been. <laughs> My goodness. Bruh. Guy, this is very good. You've done a great job. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're, 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 you're amazing. This is my very first time being in a vehicle that's as quiet as this. In, in fact, in an electric vehicle. This is my very first time. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Oh, because I cannot afford a Tesla. You see, I can't I can't get a Tesla. I don't I don't even know whether Tesla is as quiet as this one. Is it? <laughs> you are in the, in the Maybe. automobile, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. We are on a journey to tell the story of amazing people and beautiful places across the globe. This video is brought to you in partnership with Salon Messenger, a global multimedia and public relations firm based in Sierra Leone. And it's me, Sadin K.